Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. This is Nothing Edited. What's in this bowl here is a pound of red beans. I have them soaking. I'm going to let them soak. This is 1230. I'll probably put them on at 10 o'clock tonight. But this is the brand of beans that I use. The Camellia, however you pronounce it, the red kidney beans. I'm sorry, but these are the only ones I will cook because I bought the store brand and it, uh, what is it, Blue Runner has some out. Um, they're good beans, but I tell you what, um, they're not good on the stomach. <laughs> they're really hard on the stomach. Let me see if I can get this package in there better. I wish I'd have taken, I would have waited. But this is the package, the brand name of the beans. So I'm going to let these cook and I'll put them on about 10 o'clock at night. To cook and I'll come back and show you that little process of it as well you know putting everything in it I'm going to use my brand new Hamilton Beach slow cooker crock pot when I cook these beans but I'm gonna let these soak till 10 o'clock they'll double in size I'll rinse them and I'll add them to the crock pot and all the other goodies that go into the crock pot and I'll show you the process of cooking the red beans in the slow cooker overnight. I'm going to cover it with one of the little caps I have here, shower cap. I have a video on uh, these as well. Love these things. I'll be back uh, 10 o'clock tonight. See y'all then. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Nothing Edited. Uh, this is going to be my first time using my brand new Secret Santa Hamilton Beach crock pot, slow cooker. I'm going to be cooking the red beans in it, which I showed y'all earlier, you know, that I rinsed them and they're soaking. And no, it's not 10 o'clock at night, but I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to do to get my broth started and there's a reason for me doing it like in this particular order so I'm going to remove that lid look at that I mean that handle I love that handle okay. I will be adding 32 ounces of water and I will be adding another Thirty-two ounces of water. Now the reason I'm doing that is I didn't want to skip this step in a video, okay? So what I have is again one of my smoked pork necks, but I also happen to have on hand a smoked pork chop. Now the reason I'm going to start this now, and it's just now 3 o'clock, is because I want that meat to cook until it's tender where I can uh, strain it out and get all the little bone fragments out and perhaps cut the meat up if it needs to be cut up. And then at that case point in time, I will come back and I will show y'all adding the beans to it and the other item but this will make such a flavorful broth ahead of time to add the beans to so it will be just nothing but flavor in it so I'm going to place my lid back on I mean look at that handle y'all can y'all believe that now I'm going to turn this on to high and I will just let that simmer until the meat is tender. I have no idea how long that's going to take. Uh, after it comes up to a real good simmer and everything, nah, never mind. I'm just going to leave it on high. And then when I get ready to add beans, that's when I'll kick it down to low. I'll be back, but I wanted to show y'all that step of the process of doing the red beans. Hey, y'all. I want to show y'all the... Uh, broth, the pork chop I cut the 
I cut it off the uh, the meat off the bone. I threw the bone away. But this um, pork neck, I think I'm gonna leave it like it is. Um, it's tendering up a little bit, but I want it. I just want to leave it whole. The color has changed on this. The first thing I'm going to add. And I want to show you some. I'm gonna move the crock pot out of the way a little bit and kind of spin you all around again okay those is that one pound of beans look how they swole up I mean they swole up good I rinsed them and uh, drained them now what I'm going to do is move you all over here I'm going to add these beans to the pot all right we got that then what I have is celery and onion, and you see this discolored looking onion. What it is, is um, I got a half a teaspoon of black pepper, and I have a teaspoon of the bay leaf powder. That's all going in there. Alright, give that a little stir. Okay, ooh, that's gonna be a pot full of goodness right there, y'all. Okay, then I have to get my spoon here, my garlic. Two good heaping spoons of that minced garlic. That's a large pot. Yeah, make it three. Okay, we got that. Okay, and I have something else I want to add to it. This is all about flavor, y'all. All about flavor. In this pan here, I have sautéed onion and bacon. All that goodness going into that pot right there give me a minute I'm gonna deglaze this pan for a minute and see how much of the flavor there in the bottom they call it fawn I can get out okay I'm gonna pour that off in there you can get it all but I got the majority of it okay so this is all I'm going to add to it. I will, in the morning, I will come in and I'll taste it, check the beans, make sure they're all good and uh, tender. And after that, I will uh, add salt. I do not add salt to my beans like this um, until after they're cooked. The crock pot is turned down to low, so it's going to cook low and slow all night long. And I will see y'all in the morning. Good morning, y'all. This is that big pot of beautiful beans. Look at that. That is some good beans right there cook low and slow all night already going to uh, going to add about a teaspoon and a half of uh, salt that is a large pot of beans later on I'll use my new rice cooker to cook up a pot of rice and I'll be serving these beans over that I'll go on ahead and give this a little taste I'm going to taste the juice not necessarily the beans well yeah I do want a bean I'm going to make sure the beans are perfect oh yeah Mm-hmm. 
That's a good pot of beans. There you can see a nice piece of bacon. There's a pork meat in there. The beans are still intact, but yet very tender. Just about every spoon you pull up's got, well, every spoon you pull up's got meat in it. Can't ask for anything better than that. So with that, I'm gonna say thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and by all means leave a comment. And y'all have a great day.